Hey everybody, Robert Rosenfeld from Techno Buffalo. I am here in Shanghai, China for the launch of Vivo's latest flagship phone, the Nex. This is the phone the company says is the smartphone of the future. Now, if the name Vivo sounds familiar, yes, they are the same company we saw back in January at CES with a prototype of their bezel-less phone with the fingerprint reader built in under the display. The same technology is here on their newest flagship phone, along with a whole lot more. The first thing you'll notice about this phone is that it has a truly edge-to-edge bezel-less display that comes in at just under 6.6 .6 inches, and it's completely free of any obstructions. There's not even a notch at the top. The Nex has a 91% screen to body ratio, and in order to get that much display and so little bezel, Vivo had to get creative with the placement of the front facing camera, and their solution is quite clever. When you activate the front facing camera in the camera app, the camera actually raises up from within the body of the phone itself. It's really cool to see happen, and it only takes about a second from you tapping on the front facing icon in the camera app to the camera coming up and being ready to use. This is a mechanical mechanism with moving parts, but Vivo says that they've tested this enclosure and drop and durability tests, and they say the camera can be raised and lowered up to 50,000 times without any issues. The display itself is a super AMOLED panel, and yes, the Nex has the same under-display fingerprint reader built into the phone that we've seen before, but this time it's a bit better than previous versions. The new version of the fingerprint reading technology is a bit more forgiving of where you place your finger on the phone when you go to unlock it. Vivo says it has about a 50% higher recognition accuracy rate than the previous version had, and it's also a bit faster. It's still a little bit tricky to get set up initially, but once it registers your fingerprint successfully, it unlocks very quickly and seems to work well. All the other sensors you'd find on other smartphones are here in the Nex as well. They're just hidden under the display. Even the phone's speaker system is built under the screen, and it uses the entire display to vibrate and transmit sound to act like traditional smartphone speakers. On the back of the phone, you've got a dual vertically stacked camera system, with one of those being a 12 megapixel f1.8 shooter, and the other at 5 megapixels and f2.4. On the bottom of the phone, you'll find a USB-C port for charging, and on the top, hey, there's a headphone jack. Vivo has some of the latest and greatest silicon powering the Nex. Inside of this thing is a Snapdragon 845 processor, an Adreno 630 GPU handling all the graphics, 8 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of an internal storage, all fueled by a massive 4,000 mAh battery. This phone is running on Vivo's Fun Touch OS, which is based off of Android 8.1 Oreo, and allows you to use kind of Android P, iPhone X-esque gesture styles to navigate around and access different controls on the phone. It also has its own smart assistant built in named Jovi, which seems to be the company's equivalent to Bigsby, dedicated button and all. In my brief hands-on time with this phone, I have to say that the phone feels incredibly premium and well-built, and the massive bezel display is incredibly immersive. And I don't usually mind the notch on my iPhone X or other Android flagships that I'm testing, but once you use a phone that has nothing on the screen to distract you, it's difficult not to see it becoming a trend adopted by other manufacturers and something you're just gonna want. As for pricing and availability, the Nex is initially only going to be on sale in China, no word yet on expansion to other markets like Europe or the US, and that flagship version with 256 gigs of internal storage is retailing for the equivalent of about 780 US dollars. So what are your thoughts on this newest phone from Vivo? The idea of a bezel-less, notchless phone with a fingerprint reader built in under the display has long been the dream of so many. And now that this concept phone has officially become reality, are you guys interested in picking one up? Leave a comment down below and let us know. And also let us know if you guys want us to do a full review on this Vivo Nex. Uh, I am Robert Rosenfeld from Techno Buffalo. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.